Good morning adventurers. Today we wanted to try something a little bit different. We wanted to give you guys like a little peek into our kind of digital nomad lifestyle. So uh, we're here in San Francisco. We actually lived here in San Francisco for five years before we started traveling. And we worked remotely a lot when we lived here. So what we were gonna do is go around and do like a, what we do for our normal work day. But we're gonna show you some of our favorite spots here in the city. So hopefully you'll get like a behind the scenes look at what uh, one of our work days looks like, but also we'll tell you some cool places that you can work at if you ever come to the city. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's do it. First up is the Workshop Cafe, which is one of our favorite spots because it's not your typical coffee shop. It's more of a workspace. So what you do is you go in and you pay by the hour for a spot. Uh, depending on the spot, it's either $2 or $3 per hour. Yes, but if it's your first time there, you get 10 hours free. So you can try it out and see what you think about it. So let's go check it out. The best thing about Workshop Cafe is that everything happens through this little app of theirs. So our seat number is 145. So all you do is type that in here. Submit. Now I'm checked in. Boom. You can also order food through the app, which we're going to do right now. They have a ton of stuff here. It's all really good. But they have kombucha on tap. So we're both going to get some of that. Next up, we're heading to a place called Another Cafe. We used to go here a lot because we actually live just a couple blocks away from here. But, but what we really like about this place is it's got tons of seats and it's got power outlets all over the place. Yeah. The coffee is so-so, uh, no. but, but the food is really good. Yes, food is good and cheap and they also have beer, so if you're working late night. Turkey Club. What did you get? Uh, it's like turkey cream cheese Ew. and cranberries. It's like Thanksgiving awesome. on a bagel. It's so good. Yeah, I told you the food here is pretty legit. This cafe also has artwork that rotates on the walls. And I always think it's really interesting stuff. So it's a really cool work environment. Okay, so we've been going to all these coffee shops, but haven't had any actual coffee yet. We're both so. like, oh man, we're getting tired. <laughs> we're getting so tired. <laughs> so we're going now um, to the Mission, which is kind of south, um, to this place called Coffee Bar that, surprise, has really good coffee. And it's an awesome work environment. So we're yeah. gonna get some caffeine and get even more work done and show you guys around. Let's do it. By the way, I wanted to mention, we've been kind of talking about how it's really weird coming back here. We left about a year ago, and when you, we come back here, we're going to a lot of the old places, and it just feels like we're plugged right back in like we never left or something. Yeah, it's kind of neat. I feel like we visit a, a lot of cities in the States, you know, multiple times, going to see family and stuff, but it's never felt like this cohesive yeah. of a comeback. It this... just feels normal, and like we're right back into it. Yeah, we were saying this is probably the place we identify with as being home the most. But I was curious, have you guys ever felt this feeling before? Have you ever left a place that you lived for a long time and then came back? And did you have that same experience? If you did or if you did not, leave us a comment below and tell us about it. London fog. They just gave me a iced Earl Grey tea and I just put some cream in it and some sugar. It's pretty good. It does the trick. What'd you get? A latte? Iced latte. It's nice. so good. You guys, we needed it. We were fading fast. We rode a bus over here and we were both just like... I <laughs> you fell asleep. Yeah, I probably fell asleep. But uh, by the way, if you come to Coffee Bar, make sure that you come before 4 p.m. because this is what happens at 4 p.m. They literally kicked us out of that seat over there. So <laughs> one thing to be very well aware of.
All right, guys, we're getting kicked out. Apparently, Coffee Bar closes at five, so definitely something to be aware of <laughs> before you come here. But we, we did manage to get about an hour of work done, so that's good. Now we're heading just down the road to a coffee shop called Sight Glass. It's a really unique place. They don't have Wi-Fi, so you have to tether if you want to work there. But they also don't have like lattes or mochas or any of the specialty drinks. They only have coffee. I don't even know if they have tea. We're gonna find out. You guys, that is one epic setup that this guy has. Holy cow, he really put a lot of, a lot of effort into that. It's pretty legit. He's just chilling in there watching TV. <laughs> So it turns out we went to the wrong sight glass. There are actually two locations which we totally forgot about. Guys, it's been a while since we've been back in the city. <laughs> but the cooler location, the one we used to go to all the time, is actually in Soma, which means south of Market Street. But we're here now and we're going to see if we can get one more hour of work in. Is this place badass or what? Check this out. And they have tons of workspace over there and up there. Not very many outlets and no Wi-Fi though, so you gotta be come here More with a like full heads battery. Down or like yeah. do some light reading. Or come here with a good book. Yeah. So we didn't really want to get more coffee, but the guy up there sold us on this this thing that they had in a bottle called a shrub. We had never heard of it. Yeah. But how did he describe it? They what used it was? coffee beans to make some sort of juice, and then they had sparkling water and maraschino cherries to it. Yeah. I'm not the biggest fan of, but he said it's kombucha-like, and it's That's smells, all we know at this point. <laughs> it definitely smells vinegar. Give it a try. It tastes like lightly fizzy kombucha. Yeah? Yeah. Like a soda or something. Ooh, that's really good. That's very refreshing. I could see if you hadn't tried kombucha before, you might not be into it, but to me it just kind of tastes like a soda or yeah. something. Yeah, it tastes like that's a very, very lightly sweetened soda. Well, we might be drinking this more often. Awesome. All right, now time to work. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us today on our work day. I know it's not the most exciting stuff, but we figured it'd be cool to show like behind the scenes of what most of our days actually look like. And at the very least, show you some of the places that we used to frequent a lot when we lived here in San Francisco. But if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful at all, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, leave us a comment, tell, you, tell us what you thought about it. We'll make sure to link to everywhere we went today down below so that if you're interested, you can go there yourselves. But I think this is where we leave you now. So good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road. <laughs>